Certainly Reverend Jeffrey Brown is here. I also want to acknowledge Pastor Art Gordon from St. John's who is also here and all of the faith-based uh, leaders. I want to recognize Ambassador Flynn and thank him for his leadership. He has a lifetime of leadership for the city of Boston in the city of Boston. Please give a loud round of applause for Ambassador Flynn. I want to recognize Boston City Councilor uh, Eddie Flynn, who is following in his footsteps, and Boston City Councilor Michelle Wu has just arrived. I want to thank her for being here. I want to especially lift up the Jones family and my dear friend Wanda Jones. your home and has contributed so much to this community. She has been a good friend and a mentor. Uh, we all know that, that Jeep is a son of Roxbury, has done so much, not just for this community, but for the entire city of Boston, whether that is his service uh, as, as uh, serving in the Korean War and, and being a, a hero uh, and a veteran, and we certainly lift him up, whether that is his service to the city of Boston, leading the BRA, or being deputy mayor for the city of Boston. He has paved the way for so many who have come uh, after him, and we are all here to pay homage to him. And I want to just recognize his family, his, his loving wife, uh, his many children, his grandchildren, nieces and nephews. There are so many folks from all across, and his, sis, and his sisters, his siblings, yes. Uh, there are so many people here, community leaders, Ms. Harris, Charlie Titus. I, I can't even, I won't even start naming folks because I'll be sure to miss uh, some folks. He has touched so many people. He has set such an important example. And I certainly stand on his shoulders as a daughter of Roxbury. And I'm really proud here to be here today to dedicate this corner as a hero square to remember his leadership and his legacy in the city of Boston and especially in this community. It is well deserved. And we have a proclamation that I would just like to read and I'd like to ask you to join me, Wanda. This is a, a proclamation from the city of Boston, whereas Clarence Jeep Jones dedicated his life to his community and city. And whereas, Jeep Jones and Reverend Haynes formed a mentoring program at the Norfolk House in the 1950s. Jeep Jones continued serving the community after leaving City Hall. Jeep Jones also walked Warren Gardens with Pastor Gerald to listen to residents and residents' concerns and whereas, Jeep Jones became director of the Youth Activities Commission in 1969, saying, I know it's impossible. I'd like to know personally every kid in this city, just demonstrating his commitment to young people. And whereas, Jeep Jones served in many other roles, including as deputy mayor and chairman of the Boston Redevelopment Authority, always putting residents first. And whereas, Jeep Jones was also a man of great faith, serving as a trustee and deacon at the historic 12th Baptist Church, Jeep Jones helped many people and continues to be an example to all of us. Now, therefore, I, Kim Janey, Mayor of the City of Boston, do hereby proclaim August 6, 2021, to be Dr. Clarence Jeep Jones Day, in the city of Boston. And I urge, and I urge all residents of Boston to join me in celebrating his legacy to the city of Boston and all of its residents. Wanda, thank you so much for continuing on, for being such a good friend and a good partner and a good leader in this community. We all are here to lift up the legacy of Jeep to remember him and his legacy lives on not only in you and his children and his grandchildren but every single person that he has touched in the city of Boston. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are now going to hear from 
a beloved treasure in the city of Boston, someone who has a big legacy here in our city, who continues to lead. He continues to lead in this city, and it is a pleasure to call him friend. I want to welcome the ambassador, Ray Flint, to the podium. As we welcome Ambassador Flint, also wanted to recognize uh, City Councilor Andrea Campbell, who's here. She just arrived. Good afternoon, everyone. It's real, and they had the best basketball team all around the city. And we used to get in the car in a station wagon, and we used to drive down in down a, a New Jersey into Connecticut and Rhode Island, and we'd all be in the, the beach wagon, and Jeep would be there, and Mel King, and Roscoe Baker, all these guys who became lifelong friends of mine, long before I thought of getting into politics. They were very, very special people. And my son, Eddie, and I came over here to see Jeep when he was not doing so well. And we probably had the best conversation about Boston and how good the community was because of the people, and the people from this neighborhood and neighborhoods throughout the city. Hard-working, decent people that you couldn't help but love. And Jeep was the icon of, of that group of political leaders. So I, I have to say that I'm very honored to be here with my son Eddie and matter of fact I was getting in the car to come over and Michael Flaherty the city council said make sure you mention my name over there I says I will so I did that <laughs> so my friends you know you think it's a politician speaking when I tell you my affection and my love for Jim Jones but I'm not running for anything and I'm just here I'm just about hanging in there but I wanted to be here to tell you how much Jeep Jones meant to this city. He was an icon in this city. You know, this is wonderful, Kim, naming the square after him. But you know what? If I had my way, I'd name up the, the Faneuil Hall by John Hancock Hall. You know what? I might even name the Boston Garden. He was such a, such a wonderful, wonderful guy. God bless you, Jim. We love you. Well, that was awesome. Uh, now offering the remarks for the family is one of Jeep's sons, Michael Jones. Good afternoon, everyone. We, the family of Dr. Clarence Chief Jones, would like to thank the city of Boston, Mayor Kim Janey, and the Veterans Association for making this event happen. My father, in his humility, would probably not have wanted this to take place. He would have been satisfied knowing that he was able to help someone else. Over our lifetimes, we've heard many people say, your father helped me do this, or your father helped me do that. In fact, there are many people here today that have their own Jeep Jones stories. Jeep lived a life of servitude and making sure that through his efforts that he would do whatever he could to make someone else's life, someone else's life easier. I pray that this dedication today, that his spirit will live on in all of us as we help those in need and humbly serve one another. Once again, thank you and God bless you. Like Michael said, there's a lot of people here who have uh, stories about Jeep Jones. One person who definitely has a lot of stories and I gotta tell him that he needed to keep it short is a family friend, uh, Azeel Martin, who wants to say some remarks. Azeel? <laughs> Hazel, Hazel Martin, sorry. There he is. Keep it short. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's an honor to be here to say a few words in regards to 
my mentor, Jeep Jones. Um, as a young man growing up in Orchard Park projects, that's what it was back then. Um, and going to English High, I had a scholarship to University of Mexico for track, but being a uh, single parent, my mother was a single parent, we didn't have bus fare to send me to Mexico. So up, come, up comes Jeep Jones. I don't even know how he knew me because he was a basketball guy. And he came down and called me outside and said, uh, I got a scholarship for you to Winston-Salem. So at that point, I was kind of upset by not being able to go to Mexico. And I said, I'm not going. Did Tim speak in? Jeep hit me in the she stump. Speak again? <laughs> Real quick, and I fell to something? my knees. At the park, I think. And when I got up, he told my mother I want him on the next bus out of here. Okay, and Jeep Jones paid my bus fare to Winston Salem. So everything that I have accomplished in my life today is because of Jeep Jones. He saw something in me that I didn't see at that time. And Jeep has always been a, me a mentor to a lot of us out here today. And I'm glad you guys gave me the honor of standing here and giving my story. And um, I also want to say to the family that we've always kept you in our prayers, and we will continue to keep you in our prayers. And I thank you so much for letting me speak today. Thank you. Thank you. The last person, the last speaker today, she needs no introduction. This is Wanda Jones. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. And everybody here knows the thing about Jeep that he most did, he gave love. He loved his community, he loved his school, and most of all, he loved his family. So basically, I just want to thank the city for doing this honor for him, which is, everybody knows is very well deserved. And I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Jones, Ms. Jones, if you could please come up here. I want to present you a replica of Dr. Clarence Chief Jones Square. Beautiful. Which 